Welcome to our AWIN Interface Training Webinar. This video will walk you through all of the tools you'll need to get started with your affiliate program. When you first log into the AWIN User Interface, you'll be greeted by the dashboard. The graphs you see shows a top line view of how your program is performing month on month or year on year. On the right is an overview of your account, showing you a top line summary of the account's payment status pending sales, total publishers, and product feed health, all of which are hyperlinked for ease. Underneath is the to-do list. This is a list of activity that requires your attention in order to optimize the day-to-day -day running of your program. As a minimum, we advise to attend to your to-do list once a week. At the top is the navigation bar, this is where you can find the tools and technology to manage your affiliate program. Let's go into account and to account overview. Here is where you will have a chance to create your advertiser profile and set your program terms and conditions. It's important to keep this inf informative and up to date as this is what publishers first see when deciding whether to join your program. Your profile should include a bit about your business and your affiliate program offering. It is also important that the contact details are kept up to date as this is how publishers can contact you. If you want to add a new user to the account, you can do so via the invite user section and under account users, you can see a list of all the users on your program. To remove any users, navigate to the account permissions page. Next, on the publisher tab, you can access our publisher directory. The first tab shown are recommended publishers. Our system uses machine learning to recommend you publishers based on programs, terms and sectors. It also provides a five-star rating ability for you to rate the relevancy of the publishers. The more you interact, the better recommendations you'll receive. This refreshes every 24 hours, providing you with 25 new publishers every day. So check this every time you log into your account for new publisher opportunities. On the All tab, you can browse our publisher directory. You can search for publishers using keywords or use the filters on the left to narrow search results based on promotional type, sector and region. You can easily invite them to your program by clicking the add symbol on the right. Or send them a message if you want to communicate with them. Press the detail view to see more information or click through to their profile by clicking their name. Going back to the publisher menu, you can use the Opportunity Marketplace tool to find publishers advertisement opportunities. This is a great way to find niche publishers as well as on-site exposure placements during seasonal periods. Again, you can use the filters on the left hand side to narrow search results. Under publisher management, you can view all of the publishers joined to your program. If you want to download your publisher list, you can do so via the orange fluffy disc icon on the right hand side. Under publisher approvals, you can see who has requested to join your program and approve or reject them as you wish. It's best to manage this on a weekly basis to avoid a backlog of pending publishers waiting to join your program. If you have auto approval switched on, there'll be no pending publishers found. The last section is the publisher tags. Publisher tags can be used to categorize and group publishers joined to your program 
which is useful for reporting purposes or to reward bespoke commission rates for different publisher groups. Under the Commission tab, you can validate pending transactions, add manual commissions to the system, or create commission rules for certain publishers. In the Validate Pending Transactions section, you can see all of the pending transactions which are yet to be validated. Here, you can manually accept or decline transactions. You can also see the URL a transaction was referred from. Because your program is set on auto validations, you only need to decline sales where an order was cancelled, for example. You can leave accepted transactions pending on the account past the validation period to be automatically approved. Next is validate transaction queries. These types of queries are typically raised by cashback publishers on behalf of a customer when they have not received the commission for their purchase. These queries are auto validated every 75 days, so it's important to cross check the order references with your internal systems to check the customer's commissions are valid. You may wish to batch validate transactions once you have a large amount of sales coming in each month. Under batch process commission, you have the option to upload a CSV validation file to bulk decline transactions. On this page, you can download template files which match the format required to upload and batch validate. This can also be done if you want to amend any transactions for any orders that have part returns. You can also amend transactions by declining the sale and then manually adding the commission under Add Manual Commissions. This can be done on a single action or via CSV batch upload. If you arrange additional exposure with a publisher on a fixed fee, you can also add in the additional commission here under bonus. Under the commission manager is where you will have full flexibility to manage publisher commissions. You can set the standard default rates or choose to set up bespoke publisher rates or schedule rates for campaigns. It also gives you a view of current and upcoming rates for your publishers via the timeline tab. Another tool under commissions is commission by basket value. This tool can be used to pay publishers a commission according to the basket value of each transaction. If you're looking to increase your average order value, this is a great tool to use and it's great to incentivize cashback customers to spend more by offering a higher cashback percentage for the more they spend. Lastly, the Commission by Assist tool allows you to reward a commission to be paid to publishers who would not necessarily win the last click, but provides them a fair chance to earn commission on a transaction they assisted to convert. Moving on to the Toolbox tab, there are several tools to provide assets to publishers and communicate to your publisher base. The link builder is where you can create your affiliate tracking links, which you can share with publishers. You can also create specific product or category pages if you want to drive tracking to a certain area of your website. In My Creatives, you can upload assets for publishers to use. Most commonly used are banners and text links, but you can also upload HTML5 banners. It is important to note that once a banner has been uploaded, there is no way of deleting them. This is to protect publisher websites. However, you can upload new banners over existing banners to automatically update the assets publishers are using. If you have any vouchers or promotions running, you can also add them to the My Offers section in the toolbox. 
You can also attribute voucher codes to a particular publisher, meaning that any sales generated with this code, the commission is automatically attributed to the publisher. Under My Product Feeds, you can upload your products database to our system or specify a location for us to collect your data from. Google Shopping or Price Comparison Publishers will use this data to search and display your products on their site. So it's important to upload a feed in order to work with this publisher type. Another useful tool under this tab is the Communication Center. This gives you the ability to send an email to all of your publishers at once or a specific selection rather than individually. There are different features within this tool, so you can design the email however you'd like or add an existing HTML template. Once you're happy with your email, you have the option to save as a template for extra efficiency when using it in the future. You can also schedule for when the email is to be sent. This is a great tool to share newsletters, product launches or seasonal offers. Moving on to the support tab, here is where you can find our YouTube channel to watch any video tutorials of the tools available to you. You can also keep up to date with the latest industry news and events. If you want to raise a support query from the support team, you can do this via support. This will lead you to our ASC where you can browse articles for quick answers or write to us if you prefer someone to assist with any questions you have. Finally is the reporting tab. This will give you the insight into publisher activity. Firstly is the publisher performance report. Here you will have a breakdown by publisher's performance. On the right, you can customise the time frame or be selective to which publishers you want to view, either by publisher or publisher tags. Looking at the report itself, you have a chance to customise the columns here, or if you want, you can download the report by pressing the floppy disk button. The next report to look at is the Creative Performance Report. This will show you if your creatives are generating you clicks and sales and which ones are converting the best. Another report to use is performance over time. This report will give you an understanding of how your program performed over a period of time. Again, using the filters on the left can enable you to customise the data shown on the screen. Another useful report is transactions. This shows a breakdown of each of the transactions on your account. You can filter by a period, transaction date or validated date, transaction status and publisher. You can also use the search functionality to search for different values such as a voucher code. Or for more information on each transaction, you can download the transaction report. Thank you for watching our video guide on using the AWIN user interface. If you have any questions around the tools, you can read more information on our Advertiser Success Center or contact support email via the support tab.